Hello explorers and welcome to another video. It's day 11 of Advent of Code. And today we are dealing with a registration. So there's you have a spacecraft, you have been stopped by the space police and you have 24 hours to figure out what your registration identifier should be on your space ship. And of course you need to obey the law. Um, <laughs> so this says obey gravity, it's the law. Uh, so uh, we are using our int program. It will actually together with an emergency hull painting robot paint our uh, hull correctly. So we just need to run the program uh, with this int uh, computer and it will give us painting instructions. And the painting instructions are twofold. First off, you will get a number, either zero or one uh, for actually setting down either a black pixel or a white pixel. And then you will get a direction, so you can turn left, that's a zero, and then right, that's a 90. Uh, right, that's a one. <laughs> so uh, you will get turning uh, first, painting instructions, and then turning instructions, and then you will always move forward one panel for each uh, operation. The first, uh, puzzle that we need to solve with, with our int computer is to figure out how many panels it has painted at least once. So if it paints it two times, so it, it first paints it white and then black, that's counted once. And we can't just uh, print it out and then count the number of white pixels because there can be pixels that have been reset and the puzzle should just run on and give us output instructions but we need to feed it inputs as well we need to feed it as the current value of the hull uh, paint so either a zero for the black or one for the white panel uh, depending on where it has been so the program will actually figure out how to change the hull in a satisfactory manner so we have our puzzle input here and we just need to uh, go on uh, painting here, I guess. So uh, I'll uh, do some coding and I'll be back when I have something that uh, runs.
and I'm back and now I have run my computer I found a little error <laughs> in my program which was really nice um, so I will come to that uh, not sure if, if that will solve my problem with uh, day 7 but I will look into that uh, I have not done day 10 yet I will do that later uh, because I was occupied yesterday uh, let's see here first off I put the input here but some of the values were so long or so so big that I have to change them over to longs uh, then I could put them into my int program here I created a larger program I array copy my program over there then I created a little bit of a painting area here. so first I created a lot of booleans to figure out how many uh, squares I have actually put paint on and then I also had to create somewhere to draw the actual picture because I needed to know if I visited somewhere where I've already painted what was the value that I painted there then I will fill this drawing with zeros and I will start in the middle so 250 uh, x 250 y and I also have a direction which is up starting so north and I also to ease it a bit put in some uh, easy reminders so turning left is zero turning right is one north is zero east one south two and west three and I put them in this direction so I can actually turn right plus and uh, left minus so if I go plus I go from north east south west and if i go minus i go from north west south east so i can turn in either clockwise or counterclockwise direction then i set up my computer here with the mode and as it takes just an input and no mode i actually just uh, disable that function for now i'm not sure if that function is required anymore for for the program Hmm, something to think about and uh, then I ran until halted and I put some input here when I actually got some output I uh, so the input is from my drawing at the XY position and I uh, take the output I get the new value which is the first thing that we get out and I Put, update my drawing and I also update this painted mask so I will get some booleans set to true then I will uh, uh, take the new direction if it's left I will go minus if it's right I will go plus as I said before I need to change when I actually flip over so if it's more than three go to zero if it's less than zero go to three and then I will figure out uh, which direction I'm going and if I'm going east west it's plus minus and if it's north south is minus plus uh, and then I just take number of painted I go through my boolean array update my painted and print that out so I get seven uh, 1747 so let's see if we have solved this one let's put it in and submit yes you get a gold star I get a gold star everybody gets a gold star so we have solved the first part of this puzzle uh, and I will read the second part and I will get back to you when I figured out what to do oh lucky me we actually figured out what was the problem because the painting rob robot was painting something very strange on the hull and it was not the right one. It actually expected that the first starting panel was a white one. So after starting with a white panel, what will it actually draw? And luckily I have already prepared it so I can actually uh, go uh, on and actually draw something in my little array here so I will uh, change the program up a bit so I will print out the actual array after I'm started on a white pixel so uh, I'll be right back
and I'm back and I have tried to uh, interpret the result down here. I think the first one is a Z. I believe this is a C. Then I sh think it's a G we get. And then we have something that looks like an R. Okay. Yeah, R. And then uh, after R we have an H. We have a K down here. We have an L and a B in the end here. So that is what I believe should be the right uh, registration number. Let's try it out and see what we get. Yes, you get a gold star. I get a gold star. Everybody get the gold star. We solved that one. So the only thing that I changed up in my code here was that I started the drawing with setting one where I actually start. And then later on down here, I created this very simple function going through all the values, printing them out row for row, and then ending up with the print line. I uh, saw here that it was very much too large of a uh, drawing space. So I actually uh, uh, shrinked it down a bit to easily to more easily found it, find it in the image. Um, but that's pretty much what I had to do on the second uh, uh, thing today. I uh, think this was a really interesting uh, exercise. I hope that you learned something today. Uh, I hope that you found this uh, video interesting. Uh, if you uh, like this video, give it a like, share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any comments or suggestions, leave them down in the comment section down below. If you haven't subscribed to this channel and like tutorial, new libraries and uh, fun coding stuff, please subscribe. And I really hope to see you in the next video.